So you guys asked for it. I have decided to create another content for all Ethereans right now. So please make some noise for the YouTube algorithm. And also for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the bell. So now let's start this analysis by looking at this Ether USD in a daily time frame. Because right now, if we monitor this price movement of Ether, guys, you can see the price of Ether in a daily time frame tends to be following this ascending broad wedge scenario. Because we have talked about this scenario plenty of time in my videos. I also said you guys since the price of ether has already found support at the point f area after this point f the price should slowly head towards the upper line of this ascending broadening wedge and now if you look in our case guys you can also see that the price of ether did found support at the point f area and now it's also slowly heading in an upper direction but what is happening around this particular area because right now there might be some rejection to continue in an upper direction so we want to find out what exactly could be playing out here because right now as you can see the price tends to be respecting this 21 exponential moving average which is acting as a very very strong support and as long as the price is above this 21 exponential moving average this is still a very good sign because you can see whenever the price was above 21 exponential moving average consolidated but headed in an upper direction after that every time when we can see 21 exponential moving average act as a support the price did saw some sort of a consolidation phase but still managed to head in up range. so right now since the price of ether is also finding support as a 21 exponential moving average as long as the support is going to stay there guys we could also consolidate some more before heading in an upper direction because in a daily time frame according to this ascending broadening wedge i still look at this price as a more like a consolidation and again a slow move in an upper direction i'm also going to give you many different perspective regarding this current price structure because right now what i'm actually going to show you guys is a very very interesting scenario because you can see very very clearly that the price of ether formed a really nice ascending channel and once we fail to find support at the lower line area of this ascending channel the price saw this pullback or this reversal type of scenario but now you can see here guys i'm going to include another ascending channel type of scenario that could be playing out for ether because if you look at this right now you can see the price of ether tends to be following this ascending channel so now since we are also finding support at the lower line area so if the support is going to stay there right if the support is going to stay there then this is also indication around this particular area in the coming days we could still consolidate but head in an upper duration rather than in a downward duration because right now according to this ascending channel we do have a very nice support around this current price area where we are but if you say hey look at this structure what can you see here and also guys before i switch into another thought i would really really appreciate if you could just take two seconds of your time and smash the like button and for those individuals watching this video for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so if we look at this price structure in a four hour time frame guys you can see right now many are talking about this head and shoulder scenario playing out for ether in a four hour time frame because i personally don't think that this here is a proper head and shoulder scenario because you can see price here didn't broke the neckline it actually found support and had a really nice bounce so now i'm actually looking at this in a bit different way what i'm actually going to do i'm going to include another scenario which is known as diamond pattern if you are aware of that it's nice if you're not aware of that no problem i'm going to show you how you can look at this here right so you can see whenever we had this diamond pattern type of scenario playing out this scenario here is also flashing us the hey now the price of ether does looks like it is finding a very strong support around this particular area because we know in a four hour time frame we have a support from the lower line area and in a daily time frame we have support from the 21 exponential moving average so if this is going to see a bounce here to the upside right and a possible breakout scenario from here around this particular area which price target label to look for and if this is going to be a bearish diamond top then which price target to look for because according to this diamond top right our possible price target here to the upside would be somewhere from here let's say if we are going to see any breakout around this particular area then the upper target is going to be around 2040 to 2050 price level but if this is going to be a bearish diamond top and the price is going to see a pullback then according to this diamond top the price of ether could also test this 1570 price level so let's see which scenario is going to play out but we know around this 1760 we do have a very strong support from this 21 exponential moving average and also this lower line of this ascending channel so let's see 
if this is also going to act as a support and if you are going to see a breakout type of scenario from this diamond top this upper line area then we will be looking for this price movement here in an upper direction right but right now since it is still inside this pattern we cannot call this out because if this is going to see any sort of a movement in this manner then we are going to look for the downward target and if it's going to break out of this then we are going to look here in the upper duration so this is what i see right now looking at the price action of eta in a daily time frame and also in a four hour time but if you say hey you know can we actually look at this current structure in a bit different way no problem so what we are going to do is we are going to simply use this fibonacci label here because right now if you monitor this price movement you can see very very clearly that this 0.786 fibonacci label is acting as a very very strong resistance line it's not letting price to close above it and also this 0.618 around 1750 1760 is acting as a very very strong support and you can see that very clearly the price of ether tends to be trapped in between this 0.786 and 0.618 fibonacci label but we know that to the downside around this 0.618 label fibonacci label we have a very very strong support right i just showed you let me show you here as well because that will make it easier to understand for most of the people so no problem so you can see here what i can do is simply add this fibonacci from this swing high till this swing low and exactly along with this 21 and 20 moving average we also have a strong support from this fibonacci level of 0.618 which is around 1760 price level so let's see if the price is going to hold its ground if that's going to happen guys if the price is going to hold its ground around this level then just like what i said you here i'm actually expecting more like a consolidation type of scenario and a slow move here in an upper duration for ETA. and this is exactly what we can also witness here in a four hour time frame because we can see we are trapped between this 0.786 fibonacci level right and also this 0.618 fibonacci label to the downside one is acting as a resistance other one is acting as a support so this is also showing us that hey around this particular area we could see some more consolidation before price breaking here in an upper duration so guys this is what i see right now looking at the price action of ATA in a daily time frame and also in a smaller time frame so if you enjoyed my work then hit the like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anoop bye bye guys